Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. Um, we got a good one for you today. A really, really intriguing fight. Uh, Adelaide Ruiz and Ginny Fuchs. Where did I put my notes on this fight? I'm losing my brain here. Um, is it? No. I can't find my notes on this fight. Hang on one second. All right, found it. I found my notes. All right, before we get into this, please like, share, and subscribe. And forgive me for being a moron. Um, just also um, uh, join the Patreon link is in. The, you can tell it's that kind of day. Also join the Patreon link is in the description. Uh, just five dollars a month uh, get you all the best boxing and gambling advice. You get the lock of the week, which hits every week. We've hit it three weeks in a row. This week, we'll make four. I've just released the lock of the week. So if you want the lock of the week, join the Patreon. I'll make sure you get it uh, so you can lock in for Friday. Uh, also, it gets you the updated prop bets. It gets you uh, ask the bookie anything. It gets you a plethora of great boxing gambling information to make all your bets on. This is the best gambling advice in the world. You can put my track record up against anyone. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Some great content on that channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, let's get into today's show. And this is a really, really good matchup. Ginny Fuchs is a captain, former Olympic captain of, of the women's team. She's got an amateur style. She's only had three fights. She's quick. She's athletic. She's long. She's 36, which I don't love. It's a little long in the tooth, but she's a good boxer. She's a good athlete. She's got a really good jab. She sticks the jab out there. She's got no power, pretty good volume, good combination puncher, but it's very amateurish, which I'm saying she's just looking to score and get out, in and out, and score and in and out and score. There's no sitting down or punches. There's not really much. There's no plan for her shots, right? There's nothing sets up anything else. She's just looking to score, and that's something – you typically see in the amateurs in a three-round fight, you're just looking to score, get the point, get the point, get the point, win the round. Because you're not really looking, you know, break them down and stop them late in the fight like you are in a professional fight. So it's a different approach to the sport. And I, I see her only three fights in. She's still very much having that amateur style. She keeps moving, good speed. Like I said, doesn't like to trade shots, doesn't sit down on them, doesn't want to be in the pocket. And, and that's where Ruiz wants to be. She's not easy to hit clean. She's elusive. She's slippery. Uh, she's 5'4", which is fairly tall for the weight class. She's a southpaw that likes to fight at the long range. She's got good feet, good timing, good angles. Leaves herself open a bit to be tagged. Like, she'll jump in. Is what I'm saying. Like, she'll jump in. And you can if you can time her, you can have her. But she is quick. She, you, you gotta have good timing. Uh, she pulls her shots a little. She's got a good reach. But she pulls them right. It, it, it's an amateur style. She's not committing to her shots. She's just throwing them to score them, right? So she, you know, instead of you know, I mean, straight left, you know, straight left down the pipe, straight left. It, she she pulls them a little short to to, to get them back. Uh, it, it's a bad habit that she has. She's got a wide base. She's got good feet, though. She moves well. I don't typically like fighters with a wide base, but she's got a wide base, but she still can move her feet well. She's slippery. She's a good athlete. And she's hard to win rounds with. She can win rounds. Like, she knows how to win rounds. She's got that amateur style where she can put rounds on the bank. And in the women's ranks, that, that may help her, right? Because you don't have the full three minutes and 12 rounds to really sit down and break someone down and, and, and get to them. If anyone can get to her, it's Ruiz. Big, strong, come forward fighter. Quintessential power boxer. She's the opposite. And that's what makes this fight interesting. She's the opposite of Fuchs. She's a force. She throws hard. She commits. She fights as a power boxer. She, she wants to be in the long range, too. And she, she wants to keep you at the end of the punches. She'll mix up. She goes to the head and body, mixes up her shots really well. She's a, an excellent women's fighter. You don't really see that a lot in the women's fights where they're really, really dedicated to the body. She is. She throws everything hard. High volume. She's a very good offensive fighter who can be countered. And Fuchs is a great counterpuncher. So you have Fuchs is a great counterpuncher with great speed, but with no power or commitment to her shots. Then you have Ruiz, a little bit slow, 
but has great power and commits to a shot, but can be countered because of a lack of speed. So it's a very interesting style, and it's a very 50-50 fight. Fast fighter, slow fighter, hard-hitting fighter who commits to a shot against a fighter who flurries without any intentions. Ruiz has eight knockouts in 16 fights. A 50% knockout ratio uh, for a women's fighter is, is, is excellent. So she can hit. She's got power. Fuchs can be hit. This is a very hard fight to bet. I like the fight to go over. So since I like the fight to go over, I'm going to take the fight who I think is more adapt. And you're going to see how close this is on, on, on the money line. Two winning rounds. I think Fuchs is a bigger money fighter. I think she's got that going for her. And I, I think she's just a little bit more difficult to win rounds again. So if you get a prop for this to go over, take the over, take it to go the distance. Or I think that's a nice little bet to add to your parlay. We're going to look at parlays tonight uh, on on my live stream uh, tonight. And she's paying a little bit plus money. So here it is. Plus 120, minus 150. I don't love Ruiz at minus 150. And in a 50-50 fight, if I got to take someone, I'm taking the over. But if I got to pick a winner, I'm taking Ginny Fuchs. I, I think it is a 50 fight, and she pays positive money. So it, it comes down to math. In, in a 50-50 in a, in a fight, if one fighter is paying plus 120, and she's probably going to have the judges on her side a little bit, it's probably worth taking. I, there's really – this is such a hard fight to pick because stylistically – they're polar opposites, and they're all wrong for each other. Like, if I was to say, here, here's someone that can beat Ginny Fuchs. It's Ruiz. If I say, here's someone who can beat Ruiz, it's Fuchs. And now they're going to fight, and the odds dictate how close this fight is. So, for my money, I'm taking Fuchs on the money line. I really like the over. I think this fight goes over. I, I don't think Ruiz, as good as she is, as, as strong and as powerful as she is, she's going to be able to hit Fuchs enough cleanly to really stop her and break her down let me know what you guys think leave your thoughts comments below it's fuchs on the money line for the props join the patreon when the props if and when the props drop we will take a look at the props and i definitely like the over on this uh they might be decent because ruiz does have a history of knocking people out so let me know what you guys think leave your thoughts comments below please like share and subscribe follow 3d boxing 3d boxing blog on all forms of social media it is August 29th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.